So I'm about to detail my Cadillac here, and I'm not really a professional. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so I'm not expecting it to be showing quality, and it, really this car's never going to be showing quality again. The door is kind of dinged up in a few places. The clear coat's all gone along here. This is all wet still. The rest of the car is dried off by now, but not this stuff that's a uh, clear coat. It hasn't reflected off as much as the rest of the good paint. This door is also very dinged up. There's some big gouges on the top of the driver's door here. There's some more deep scratches. Right there. Very deep. And the trunk is pretty dinged up. And the clear coat's gone in this mirror too. Stuff like this fender here, I just washed this car five minutes ago, and there's all these spots and specks in the paint. It's just imperfections. Grease that is just uh, going through the clear coat and just making it look uneven. It's The paint is really dull too. It doesn't have as much of a, a dark shine as it should. It's just hazy. On the trunk here is where you can easily see the swirl marks. And you can see how faded the paint is. It just doesn't have that metallic shine that it needs to be. It's all dull. There's the same spottiness in the driver's fender as well. Very uneven looking. You can also see the swirl marks in this paint as well. You can see slight metallic, because that's the whole thing. The paint is still good underneath all this haze and grime. The metallic finish is still very shiny, it needs to be brought out more. I already have cleaned this car because I don't want this video to be about going from a, a dirty car to a clean car as much as I want it from going to a damaged paint to a more restored paint. Because this paint, it's not too scratched up, it's just really hazy and swirly. But something I am concerned about is you can barely see on the hood here, right there, there's a slight discoloration. And I'm thinking that means that all of the clear coat on this hood is really thin, so I'm gonna need to be pretty careful about how much compound I use rubbing into this. Because as I said earlier, this clear coat on the front bumper is already gone. And it's already faded away. And I could peel it up right there if I really tried, but I don't want to. So. I'm thinking, because that's plastic and cheaper, it kind of fell apart before the hood did, but the hood is on its way out too. So I have a bunch of random products here I'm going to use to kind of restore the paint as best as I can for a first time thing, just to make it so it looks much more valuable than it really is. It's just uh, nothing too professional, just to get more than a regular cleaning at a car wash would do. The main things I'm going to be using here are the compound polish and wax to try to fix the paint. Just some McGuire's snare stuff got on sale. You know, I'm sure there's better products out there, but I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for something that gets the job done, because I just need something. This gray trim that runs along the whole side of the car is getting sun faded. It's kind of yellow right at the top, but it's supposed to be this gray color all around. I'm gonna do something similar to what I did with my 2005 Chevy Equinox, which had a bunch of gray plastic trim that had faded in the sun. I'm just going to use a can of Plasti Dip and tape off this trim and get back to gray. The Plasti Dip on my Equinox had it on the wheels too and lasted over a year and a half so I'm sure this will last just fine. It should be good for what I'm using it for. Okay, I just got done with the paint detailing type of thing so far and already the car has literally changed colors. It used to be this purpley color and it was really dirty but now that it's been waxed and everything, it's more of a reddish tint like it's supposed to be. I can see up in the up here in the hood, there's all these rock chips that got filled with the wax and it's kind of noticeable that the hood is pretty chipped up. But all these spots that were around all these spots that were around this thing, this turn signal indicator are now gone. Now it's smooth. There's 
still a slight bit of discoloration right there where it didn't really get in the crevices all the way. The metallic paint is really popping out. There's still a slight bit of swirling. I didn't really expect to get rid of all of it, but it's a lot less than it was before. You can just really see, you can really see the metallic shine in the paint now. So, for example, here you're gonna see, you can see the difference in what the paint used to look like versus what it actually looks like now. Now that it's been fully detailed, it's more of this reddish color. Whereas before, pretty much the entire car was this purplish color that was all hazed up. Most of the swirl marks from the key scratches around this emblem are mostly gone. There's a few left around. You really see them. Once the light hits it just right. Right there. But you can't see them in person unless you really look for them now.